Hello and welcome back to this playlist. Uh, we went through modeling of rigid connection in ANSYS. Uh, in the last two videos, we modeled the geometry and then we used the uh, common way of modeling the bolts as joints. In this video, I'm going to use another method of this uh, joint calculation and we will review the results accordingly. This is what we had uh, last time and we can duplicate to have another calculation model. As far as I'm going to change the joints, uh, we need to duplicate it. I can modify the name rigid joints and this one I can write down joints with stiffness. Here coming back to our joints, we can see that here joints are completely rigid. It shows that uh, they are completely uh, stiff and there is no uh, stiffness and flexibility. That's why the results might not be very reliable, especially if it is very important to uh, study on the bolts. For this, we can use the uh, stiffness method. I can open one matcat sheet and here we can go through the bolt it was m20 and as stress area is 245 square millimeter modulus of elasticity is 210 gigapascal and diameter will be s square root 4 times as divided by pi and the length of the bolt we assume that the length of bolt is 45 millimeter in our stiffness calculation according to Eurocode you can check the video that we calculated uh, the stiffness for the longitudinal stiffness it's uh, under tension so it will be AE divided by L AS times E divided by L Newton per millimeter that's the uh, stiffness, uh, longitudinal stiffness. For the shear stif stiffness, uh, many studies have been done and a uh, very famous one is Hood equation 1984 and also the other one from uh, Boeing aircraft equations. I put them here. So the first one is the hood equation according to the two plates thicknesses E1, E2, E3 are uh, first material modulus of elasticity, elasticity, second material modulus of elasticity and E3 is the modulus of elasticity of the bolts. The same, almost the same equation is used in uh, Boeing equation and here you can see the equation. The first one is not considering the shear perhaps it's included inside the equation in the second one we have the the effect of the moment of inertia also the shear equation the shear modulus of elasticity so here we can calculate both and then we can compare in some studies it is written that the uh, Boeing equation is more conservative i'm not an expert in that but you can check by yourself if you are interested let's go through t1 is 16 millimeter if we assume plate is the first object and t2 is the flange of column d we have it right now e for all of them we assume that e is constant n is the one uh, it means that it's in single shear and what else a and b a in this equation is 2 divided by 3 and b is 3 g we can assume nu is 0 0.3 and we can write down that g equals to e divided by 2 times 1 plus nu what else moment of inertia is pi times d power by 4 divided by 64. So let's go with c root equals to t1 plus t2 divided by 2d power by a power by b divided by n times 1 over t1 times e 
we have only one e for all of them part is one divided by n times t2 times e plus one divided by two times t1 times e and then plus one divided by two times n times t E2 times E. And here we can see that the unit is millimeter per Newton. As a result, S of foot will be 1 divided by C and Newton per millimeter. Also, we can use this equation from point T2 power by 3 plus 5 times T2 power by 2 times T1 plus 5 times T2 times T1 power by 2 plus t1 power by 3 divided by 40 times e times moment of inertia plus 4 times t2 plus t1 divided by 5 times g times area here i use shear area or stress area plus t2 plus t1 divided by t2 times t1 times e plus 1 divided by t 2 times e plus 2 divided by t 1 times e and then s will be 1 divided by c and is 2.27 10 power by 5 newton per millimeter now we can see that uh, Boeing equation gives a more conservative value compared to hoop equation. For that reason, I would uh, continue with this value for shear stiffness. For the longitudinal stiffness, 1.14, 10 power by 6. And now we can come back to our case. Here we can just uh, delete these. Uh, you can modify by one by one and i will start to create a new joint this time we change it to general and here we set to be in rotation completely free and x and y and z also free so here you can enter the stiffness first we have to select what part we are going to have as the reference and which part is going to be the mobile i select this part as mobile and then from the flange as the reference so now here uh, we can see that x and y in the local condition are the shear resisting axis and z is the uh, longitudinal in terms of considering the bolt direction so when you come to here for the x it was 2.269 10 power by 5 the same value for y and uh, for z it was 1.143 e6 so here now we have newton per millimeter the stiffness is now adjusted and the only thing is just automation that we had from reference to mobile and change this to 50. here we have and i prefer to put them in in a group number two three four five and six so these six on top and We can check from here, but but and this one. So now the mesh is as we had earlier here the joints are removed i will delete these and we can bring the new joints from bot group to solution just solve as far as it's uh, 
not uh, nonlinear analyzes, it might be much faster than uh, nonlinear material modeling. So we can expect to get the results quite fast. I can close this automotive object generator. Last time it was only five steps. And I don't think that it would be more than that this time as well. The results are ready. Now let's have a look on the results as we expected five iterations total deformation uh, we might not be interested in that for now let's check the bending moment here equivalent stress uh, above 355 but it's in the weld area contact tool now we can see that here as far as now it's more flexible here you can see that the contact tool shows that the prying force is not like what we had earlier the main reason still we have prying force even though we didn't have prying force in our calculation for the uh, capacity of the connection but here the loads are less than the resistance of the a connection as a result we might expect to have some uh, contact and prying force but the difference between this uh, graph and the other graph from the joint or rigid joint modeling is that it's completely rigid but here they are flexible moment uh, it was 46 kilonewton meter in the other video here it is 44.5 as we can see here the rotation was 0 0.13 here it's 0 0.15 as we can see it's more flexible and it can rotate more and the loads here for zeta direction 80 kN it was more because it was rigid and it didn't allow to deform but here we have flexible and it can take according to the deformation 80 kN reasonable and shear force is 25 kN That would be more reasonable. Here we can see that the joint tree, uh, 76 kN and shear force is minus. Still a little bit tricky to understand why the shear force is negative. And here as well. And still here we have a compressive force, 2500 N or 2.5 and 3 kN as shear force. The situation for shear force is better than the rigid joint modeling uh, it's very good if we have a an excel sheet to write down the results and later on we can compare our uh, results so let's have a, a row number one row number two row number three and then let's have a normal force and shear force vertical direction not the total and also we need to have the methods just to compare how many methods we have the first method would be rigid joints the second one joints with stiffness and for each one uh, i have other methods as well we will come back to them row number one was 111 kN for each bolt so it was it is 222 kN and the shear force was 80 99 for each bolt so 200 for total positive uh, for row number two it was 88 176 in total and minus 63 minus 126 and for row number three it was minus 8.1 let's go with one minus 16 and minus 24 in total so here we can see that the summary of these values is exactly 50 and it shows that the uh, entire load is transferring to the column but the distribution is a little bit debatable with this rigid joint method now let's go with the joints with a stiffness so here we can check the results 80 
and 80 160 25 and 25 50.6 the next row volt 76.7 70 6.9 154 and shear force minus 3.3 minus 3.3 minus 6.5 about and row number three minus 2.5 minus 2.5 minus 5 and shear force 3 kilonewton and almost 3 kilonewton so 6 kilonewton also here if we look at the shear force again the summary is 50 which is exactly the same load that is coming to the connection but still we can see that the loads are quite uh, significant in this method the other thing that we need to check is the bending moment and rotational angle in the rigid joints modeling it was 46.5 kilonewton meter and the rotation was 134 here the moment is 44.6 and the rotational angle is 0 0.152 that's all and one more important thing that would be great to check is where we have the maximum deformation if you come to result and go to deflection here you can see that the maximum deformation comes to the top beam the main reason is that the top beam is under a less rigid connection because it's at the end compared to here we can also check we have the same load for both the beams we can see how much bending moment this beam can take for that we can just have another prop moment reaction if i turn this off from here So we can see that the bending moment is 43. It was 40, almost 5, but here it is. Also, we can check the rotation of the same position. About Z. And here you can see that it is rotating more compared to the other connection the reason is that this is less stiff compared to the other part that's the end of this video we changed the method of bolt modeling with joints but this time we used a stiffness in terms of longitudinal and shear direction or shear stiffness of the bolts in the next video i will change the method to uh, spring modeling instead of joints we will go through joints with shear stiffness and also with the spring to set it in a way that the springs are not taking any compression force thank you for watching see you next time bye